Hello and welcome back. Okay, um, one real quick thing that I want to show you that we didn't get to in the last video is how to add background music and um, I'm also going to make a some crystals that our character can collect with uh, sound effects. Okay, so um, there's a few things that I've added to the project and again you can download this pro project. We've got a couple more scripts here, this object audio script and the sound holder script. Okay, and let's see what else do we have here. Um, um, I've got another sprite here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a prefab, and um, prefabs are great things to do um, whenever you're connecting multiple objects together or creating an object that has a lot of settings, and you can actually save it and then reuse that object over and over again, or reuse that prefab over and over again. So let's go ahead and um, let's create a new scene right now. All right. And I'm going to save this in my scenes folder. All right, and we'll just call it uh, prefab scene. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to grab my uh, crystal here. And let's see. I, I want to go ahead and make sure that it's set to 0, 0 right in the center. Okay. And the uh, X and Y position. And then we're going to need to add a few things here. Um, let's see, rigid body 2D, um, physics 2D, polygon collider. And we will set this one to trigger. All right, and then let's create another polygon collider. All right, and we will leave, we will not set this one to trigger. We'll leave is trigger unchecked. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to our scripts and we have this. Um, object audio script and I'm going to drag that onto our crystal here okay all right there we can see that it's added okay so let's go ahead and now create um, an empty game object all right we're gonna set that game object to uh, zero zero so it's right the same position as our uh, crystal then I'm going to grab my crystal and make it a child of my game object okay and let's go ahead and on the object here, we'll put a box collider. Okay, so let's get up on this. Okay, so there you go. So what we're going to do here is, well, let me set this to trigger. The box, the object with the box collider is going to be the trigger, okay? And the reason why we're doing this is because basically our character will collect these but really it'll just be destroying our sprite here okay so if the sprite gets destroyed then it can't play any sounds and so we need to wrap it in this game object here and then the game object can be the sound trigger okay so let's with the game object selected here I'm going to select audio audio source okay let's take a look at this um, I'm going to uncheck play on awake Okay, that just means, you know, start playing the second we press play here and when it's ready to go. All right. Um, provided that the state of this is awake or ready to go when you press play, of course. Um, I have some audio here. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. Make sure that my game object is selected. And right in this audio clip slot here, we'll drag my uh, sound right there. Okay. Okay, we almost got it. Um, we have this other script here, the sound holder script. Go ahead and drag that onto the game object as well, okay? Yep, so you should have a box collider, audio source with your audio in the slot, the audio clip slot, and then a uh, sound holder script, okay? Okay, now what I'm going to do is, let's see here, in my assets folder, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm gonna call this one prefabs. Go inside that empty prefabs folder I'm going to right click, create a prefab, and we'll call this one uh, crystals. I'm going to grab my game object here, okay? Not just the child, but the game object that also contains this child crystal here. I'm going to close that up, grab the whole thing, drop it right there, okay? And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go into my scenes folder, open up scene one. I'm going to go ahead and go into my prefabs folder and grab one of my uh, crystals well, let's see here okay and let's set it um, oops. right there 
Okay, so it's just sitting right there. Okay. Um, okay, and I guess I'll do another one just to show you, you know, this is why prefabs are great. Okay, we'll put that one right there. All right. Um, let's go ahead and save the scene and we'll press play. Okay, and I actually, since the last video, I moved that destroyer shell over here just so I didn't have to keep dealing with it while I was, uh, you know, testing audio. Okay, so it comes over here and there's my little sound. Let's go over here and there's my little sound. Okay, so that's how you add collectible objects. Now, there's a lot you can do with that, okay? Um, well, when you can collect objects and set them to trigger, you can you know, trigger the objects to do specific functions. And as we dig deeper into these tutorials, we will do that. But for now, just see if you can get your character to collect an object and see if you can actually get that object to make some kind of a sound when your character uh, collects it, all right? Um, be sure to make prefabs, okay, because that way you can just keep reusing them. You know, we can, you know, put crystals all over the place or whatever or, you know, coins. Um, you know, there's no reason why you can't actually make an animation just in its idle state. And that way you have, say, oh, a spinning coin or something like that. Um, okay, so now what we should do is let's add a little background music, okay, because it's pretty boring when we just press play here. And all we can do is get these little crystal bell sounds going when he goes way over here, okay? So let's go ahead and add some background music. Okay, I'm gonna select my camera, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna go to uh, Add Component, Audio, Audio Source. Okay, um, let's see here. In the audio, I have, well, I have two of these, let's see. Oh, this is the one that I wanted, okay. Got some, you know, music here that might kind of work for our game. Um, where's our audio? Okay, there it is. And I'm going to drag that into the audio clip slot of the audio source component, just like we did last time. Okay. The one difference is we're going to leave play on awake checked this time. Remember, we shut that off so that we could, we could trigger the sound. This time we're going to leave play on awake, and it's on our camera, so it's going to be right there, and it's going to be ready to go and awake when we start uh, when we press play, and so we should have some music playing. Turn that up. Hopefully you can hear that there. Okay. Well, some like atmosphere playing, I guess. Okay, and. Okay, and I just jumped ahead a little bit so that I could show you. Um, I put my shell back up here. I moved some spikes over here so these shells will actually roll down here and then respawn. And then he has to move the brick and you can collect a crystal over here. Okay, easiest game in the world so far. <laughs> but um, this is the, when you download the new package, this is exactly what it'll look like. And then um, you can see all, all these settings are set up. And of course, you get all these scripts and use them in your own game. Okay, so. He pushes this thing down so that he can you know, get a good start on being able to jump. I'm gonna wait because there's gonna be a you know, deadly shell. Go ahead and jump another shell. Wait somewhere right here. Ah! Okay, well I called it the easiest game ever and I just got rolled. Let's try this again. All right, so. Okay, let's wait for that shell to go by. Wait for another shell. Wait right here, another shell. Okay, barely made that. And he got his crystals. <laughs> okay, so that's what state the game will be in when you download it, okay? And that'll either be available on our site or uh, below the YouTube video. Okay, well, there's some background music and some collectible objects and some sound effects. So see if you can get that going and I'll see you in the next video.